After we dealt previously with the question, can I give my friend something that I hold the kashrut is not good enough, but he would eat it. And we said the different implications with that halakha. And now we want to know the opposite. Can I give my friend something that I hold is okay, the kashrut is fine, but he is restricted from eating it. Because of the kashrut, he holds that kashrut is not good enough. That's how he views it. That question we can find in the Ritva in Sukkah Dafyud. The Gemara over there in Sukkah speaks about two of the Chachamim, Rav Christa and Rav Baravuna, that went to do a mitzvah of Pidyon Shvuim. On the way, they had to sleep overnight. They came to Rosh Galuta, and Rosh Galuta put them to sleep in a Sukkah that they held is not kosher. The reason they held is not kosher was because the Schach on top had decoration that go down for Tfachim under the Schach. And they held it's not kosher. You're not allowed to sleep in such a sukkah. Rosh Galuta knew he puts them in such a sukkah. And he was asking them, why is it that you agreed to sleep in such a sukkah overnight? And they told him, the reason is because we were on the way to do a mitzvah. And since we're on the way to do a mitzvah of Pidyon Shvuim, we're exempt from the mitzvah of sukkah. That was a very good answer they gave him. But the question the Ritva wants to know is how was the Resh Galuta allowed to put them in such a sukkah where he knows they hold the sukkah is not kosher? And the answer he says is a very important answer for halakha. He says that whenever you give something to somebody and he can view and see it and see exactly what you're giving him and see the problem in it, he can decide for himself if he wants to eat it, he doesn't want to eat it. If he wants to t- sit in such a sukkah or not. Over here, Rosh Galuta put them in such a sukkah, and they were able to see that the schach was going so low that's not good enough for them, and it's their decision to make if they want to be in such a sukkah or not. According to that, we learn halakha lemaseh, that the shach himself brings down in the Shulchan Aruch, that whenever you give somebody something, if you can see it's visible, the problem of the product, it's fine to give it to him. Over here also, when you hand somebody uh, some kind of cookies, but they come in a pack- uh, the package that's sealed, and it says exactly what's the kashrut on it, he would make his own decision, does he want to eat it or not? So therefore, even if the other person doesn't hold of such a kashrut, but since he could make his own decision on the cookies, on the pastries, on whatever you're giving him, that would be allowed to give it to the other person. But... If it's not visible, one should refrain and you're not allowed to give it to the other person because then you're violating you're giving him something that he wouldn't know that it's restricted to him and you're giving him something you, that's considered a mikshol for him.